Hello everyone, welcome to MetaCare. So today we will discuss uh, one question from JE Advanced 2023. The question is from thermodynamics. So in this question we have one mole of an ideal gas. Here you can see we have one mole of ideal monoatomic gas that undergoes two reversible processes one is a to b so a to b and b to c as shown in the figure so this is the graph a to b is an adiabatic process it is mentioned here a to b is adiabatic process the total heat absorbed in the process entire process from a to c it is r2 ln 10 so we have to find out the value of 2 log v3 okay so first see this process a to b it is adiabatic adiabatic reversible process huh? and again you can see b to c this step it is occurring at 60 kelvin okay so it is isothermal reversible process for adiabatic process heat absorb is zero so here we can write q a to b that is zero and in case of isothermal process q b to c that is actually work done minus w okay now we have c here also mentioned that cp for uh, monoatomic gas is 5 by 2 r so if you already know that gamma for uh, monoatomic gas you can directly use that one but we will calculate here the gamma value for uh, monoatomic gas so here we have cp molar heat capacity at constant pressure that is equal to 5 by 2 r so cv that will be 5 by 2 r minus r that is 3 by 2 r so if you write gamma that is cp over cv that will be 5 by 3 so that is the gamma value and also for adiabatic process a to b a to b adiabatic reversible process so we can write t v to the power gamma minus 1 that is equal to constant for adiabatic process reversible process so we can write T1 V1 comma minus 1 that is equal to T2 V2 comma minus 1. Here informations are given. First T1. So we are getting data from the graph. So here T1 is 600 Kelvin. T1 is 600 Kelvin. So here you can see T1 is 600 Kelvin and t2 that is 60 kelvin v1 already we know v1 it is given 10 meter cube so we have to find out v2 the first objective is to find out v2 so here we will put the values and we will get v2 
so here we can write v2 by v1 to the power gamma minus 1 equals to t1 over t2 v2 v1 is 10 gamma value already we know 5 by 3 there we will put 5 by 3 minus 1 that is 2 by 3 t1 is given 600 and t2 is 60 from here v2 by 10 we are getting 10 to the power 3 by 2 and v2 we are getting 10 to the power 5 by 2 so that is the value of v2 we will use this v2 value in the second process isothermal process so for isothermal process we have to calculate q for second process v2 c that is isothermal a reversible process here we will calculate q for b to c that is minus w that will be n r t ln the final volume is v3 and initial volume is v2 that will be v3 over v2 now it is one molar gas one mole gas to so one r temperature is t2 you can see here the isothermal process temperature is t2 so we will put t2 here so r t2 ln v3 over v2 so t2 total heat absorbed q that is equal to q a b plus q b c q a b is 0 because it is adiabatic process so this value is 0 so total q is r t 2 ln v 3 over v 2 and this value is given in this question you can see the total heat absorbed it is given r t2 ln 10 if we compare this to we get v3 over v2 is equals to 10 again v3 is 10 into v2 and v2 already we know 10 to the power 5 by 2 so the answer we are getting 10 to the power 7 by 2 that is the v3 again we have to find out 2 log v3 that is 2 log 10 to the power 7 by 2 that will be 7 so the correct answer for this question will be 7 okay so very interesting question so thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe and share